All right, so how to draw windows in plan in AutoCAD with good line weight. So first of all, you want to make sure you think about the three components of a window and think about them practically in terms of the principles of line weights. Now, if you're not sure about line weights, I do have a video that I'll link up in the cards um, that you can then uh, go and look at because that's going to really make sure you're drawing things correctly is understanding the principles of the line weights in which you use them. So to draw a window in plan, you need to draw a sill, frames, and the glazing itself. So let's start with frame. Now, assuming you've already created your opening in the wall, let's draw a frame. Now I'm using a dedicated layer for frames and I've set it where it's gonna print at a 0.20 millimeter line weight. Now to draw this as a frame, let's just do PL, enter, and draw the profile of whatever the frame is gonna be. I'm gonna keep this one really simple Maybe it's just a really basic rectangle. So that's one frame. Now you can also go in and copy it over to the other side. And you have both frame edges. Now, typically, again, it's gonna depend on the type of window you're drawing, but you would also wanna draw the kind of inner frame or if there is any kind of turn on ortho mode. If there's anything going on on the inside, you would want to draw that because it's going to really make sure it looks as it should in your drawing. So if I I'm going to just draw a little guideline here and I'm going to use it to mirror and there we go. So we've drawn the frame now let's draw the sill. So for the sill, I have drawn these much lighter and that's because these are going to be below the cut that you're creating this plan drawing with. So if I do L, I can draw a sill line there. I can draw a sill line here. I can draw a sill line here and a sill line there. Now the reason these lines are being drawn here is basically we're imagining this frame is at the side and it's going to turn under to create the sill and so that's the edge of the sill on this side and the edge of the sill on this side and similarly this frame is going to turn under and go below the cut line to kind of create the inner frame there. Last but not least let's add some glazing. So by glazing we're just talking about the glass of the window. So I just draw this with a 18 millimeter or 0.18 millimeter line, L, enter, and just draw your line straight across. Now, let's see what this looks like in a layout. So if I go to layout, I'm going to go page setup, and let's display our plot style. So I'm using this monochrome, and close. And let's just go in and look at our window. Here you can see our exterior walls are quite thick, our frame is still thick, and our glazing is somewhat thick, but our sills are a lot thinner. And that's going to be how this communicates as a window when you're looking at the overall plan. Now, some of the questions I get asked is, do you have to do this every time? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Once you draw certain windows, you I would really recommend if it's a same size window that you're gonna use over and over and over in a floor plan, make that into a block. So B, enter, with all of those objects selected, type window, and let's specify on screen. And I think that's fine. Okay, let's pick our base point. I'm just choosing that right there. And now we have a window that we can copy and paste as a block wherever we need it to go. Now, one thing that you might run into is, okay, what if I have some windows that are really similar to the point that I don't wanna to have to draw them over and over and over again, but they do have some slight differences when it comes to the dimensions. 
And for that, we're going to do a dynamic block. So how can we make our window block into a dynamic block? That means a block that we can actually shrink down or stretch out depending on the size it needs. So to do this, we need to go to the block editor. So select your block and do B edit, enter. And this is the one we want to use. And it's always really difficult to see on the gray background, but we're going to actually make it where we can stretch this window out. Now, when you're making a dynamic block, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. You have parameters and you have actions. So our parameter is going to be the length of this window in plan, which is technically the width, but it is what it is. The length of this is going to stretch out. So what we want to do is go up to here, choose the linear parameter, and let's just draw a line from point to point and click out and number of grips. So just press enter. This is our distance parameter. So this is the length that we want to stretch out with our action. To add the action, go to your actions panel and we want to click stretch. And this is where you want to follow along with the instructions in the command bar. So it says select parameter. So I'm going to select that distance. Now it's asking me to select the point associated with it. I'm going to choose this side. Now it's asking select first corner of stretch frame. So what the stretch frame is, is basically going to be what part of this do we want to freeze that then, you know, the part that gets cut by the stretch frame is going to be the part that stretches. We'll see what that looks like in a second. So I'm going to just draw a big rectangle around this side of the window. So all of the frame is going to move with it, but the sill and the glazing is actually going to stretch. And we want to select the objects now. So now I'm just going to select everything that's being touched right here. Press enter and close block editor, save the changes. And now when we click on our block, we have this lovely little arrow that means we can shrink it down to fit. And that's how to draw a window in plan with good line weights in AutoCAD. And it's how to create a window as a dynamic block that you can shrink to fit or stretch to fit, depending on the needed window size. I hope that helps. If you like that video, then click to subscribe for more videos all about software and digital skills for interior design.